Yo, what's going on? It's your boy Davis, the camera guy at Gemini Saint back again with another tutorial video. And today we're gonna be doing the VHS effect for Final Cut Pro. And I'm gonna teach you how to do this effect without having to download any external plugins. Everything's gonna be basically built into Final Cut. All you're gonna need is the adjustment layer, which you could find anywhere, and you're gonna need one overlay grain, which you could find on YouTube. I'm gonna link that below. So yeah, let's get into this. So as you can see, I already uh, clipped together, you know, some music video clips that I previously did with uh, some other artists and we're basically just going to be using those. So first thing what you want to do is you want to put down uh, your base grade. That's with Color Finale. Um, color Finale is a great, it's a great color correction program. I use it for um basically all my music videos to, for color grading even create the lights so shout out to color finale so we put down our base grade and it looks pretty good so let's move on to the next now what you want to do is go to custom and you're going to put down your adjustment layer for the purpose of this video i already have the adjustment layers already there with all of the settings so I'm just gonna be dropping it in and um, deleting the adjustment layers just to show you guys that um, where you should be placing the actual adjustment layer. So we're gonna take that off and we're gonna add in our film grain effects and our effects that's actually gonna make it look um, like VHS. So the effects that I use are Bad TV and Film Grain that's actually in the stylized folder in your effects tab. And there isn't really much, you know, too many tweaking that you have to do with it um, because it already came built in. All I did for this is I put on the Gaussian noise and I put that down to 3%, uh, 3 as the amount. And then I just put on the film green and I changed it to realistic film green and that's basically how I achieved um, the effect of the VHS. So the next thing you're going to do is we're going to put in the borders. These borders, um, you see those in a lot of old music videos. And basically all I did was drop in another adjustment layer. That would be our third adjustment layer. And I just used the crop. Uh, I cropped it in there. not exactly equal you know you could put it to be equal i didn't put it to be equal i put it to where i thought you know it looked the best um there are some people out there that you know everything has to be equal so you just play around with those until you can see as you can see the board is actually moving in and you choose whatever looks best and yeah that's basically it so that's a look with the borders and the bad tv and the film grain and like I said, all this is included in a final cut. You don't have to download any external plugins. Now, moving on to the next thing is, uh, I can't seem to find it. It's gonna be the overlay, the overlay grunge effect that um, it's gonna give it that added flair to make it seem, you know, VHS grungy trap style music videos if that's what you want to use it for and what I did with that is um, I actually dropped it in if you put it to the full you can see it's it's just out there and it's taken away from the actual um, movement of the video and it's just a lot so I took that and I reduced the opacity down to about 24 so it's noticeable but it's not noticeable at the same time and when you play it back you can see it's just there playing in the background but it actually fits in and actually suits with the feel of the actual video and yeah like i said i'm gonna link uh this film grain in the description you can download this off youtube or any other one you like um and you just add it as a screen overlay inside your um looks tab and that's just about it guys um thank you for watching this video thank you for watching all my tutorials thank you for everybody that has subscribed to this channel and if you like these tutorials if you like 
uh, my music videos if you like everything that I do make sure to hit that subscribe button also hit the bell notification so you can know when any new video drops thank you for your time thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one